Hi everyone, welcome back to another class of pronunciation in use level intermediate. Today we are taking a look at today we're taking a look at unit 45 talking about well and anyway. We use these two words a lot when it comes to telling a story. A lot of people don't use them and they just put sentences one after another which make them sound really unnatural so they're not natural they have to use these words like well anyway these words make you sound natural when telling a story today we're taking a look at this lesson so we start the lesson by uh, almost long listening it says two words will often hear two words that you will often hear in conversations are anyway and well so these are two words that you hear a lot in conversations, especially if somebody's telling a story. So we are focusing on these two words, anyway and well. That's the focus of the lesson. Listen to the conversation below and notice that anyway and well are often said in quite a high-pitched voice. High-pitched, so speaking about high-pitched and low-pitched, let me give you an example. Uh, for example, so look at this example. I have written one word here. The word is never. If I say it in a high pitched voice, it sounds like never. If I say it in a low-pitched voice, it sounds like never. So usually girls and women, they speak in a higher pitch level. So that's the meaning of pitch. So if I say never, it's high-pitched. If I say never, it's low-pitched. So here it says these two words, well and anyway they are pronounced in a high-pitched voice when you are telling a story so i just got the voice on my speaker because i just realized that the voice was not loud enough so i'll play it from my speaker this is 22 let's listen c22 i nearly got arrested you know the other day you what arrested what do you mean well I'm doing this project on graffiti, you know, at college. And um, so I have to take lots of photos of graffiti. And uh -huh. so anyway, I saw this train with some amazing graffiti on the side. So I went there to uh, take a photo of it. The thing is, it was a bit far from the platform. So what happened? Well, I walked along next to the lines and then these two uh, station police came along and said I shouldn't be there. So um, they took me to the office and then they asked for my ID card, you know, and my identity card. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't have it. Left it at home that day. Oh, no. Yeah. So anyway, then they didn't know what, I, what to do with me. So um, I said, look, I leave my camera here and I go home to get my ID card. Now, in the end, they agreed. So I did that. And they, they wrote my ID number and then just let me go. Okay, so you see in this story, you hear a lot of uh, anyway. Anyway is used when you are getting to the next part of the story. When you want to say something that is important, you use anyway. Yes, anyway. We also use well. When you want to start your answer, maybe you need some time to think. So it says well and anyway, they are said at a high pitched voice. Well, anyway. So when do you use anyway? Let me read it for you. Hi, Bardia, welcome. It says in the conversation above, A uses anyway to show that she's moving to the next part of the story. Yes, for example, I say yesterday I went to the park. Uh, it was cold and it was snowing. My friend was also with me. Anyway, I went to the park to relax. 
and or I say anyway and then a man came to us came up to us so when I say anyway it means I want to change the top not, not change the topic I just want to go to the more important part or I just want to say something that is next so that's when we use anyway <clears throat> so don't rem don't learn Farsi meanings for anyway you should learn how to use it you use it when you want to go to the next stage of the story when you want to say something that is more important well you use it at the beginning to start thinking now the next thing in the conversation <clears throat> um, anyway and well are usually pronounced in a high voice notice that before the word anyway the speaker is just giving information and details about it a uses well to show that she's responding to b in this context okay so it says look at one anyway for example uh, here there is one anyway let me find an anyway <coughs> Yes, for example here, anyway. It says before anyway, you are giving some details. They asked for my ID card. Um, they took me to the office. Anyway, now you want to say the important thing. Then they didn't know what to do with me. Or you want to say the next story. Hi, Paris, so welcome. You want to say the next story, like the next the next event in the story so you use anyway the next part so this is how we use anyway and then it says the man you see look at B because B is just listening B is not talking a lot B is mostly listening okay B speaks at a low pitched B doesn't go really high in pitch because he he wants to show that he's listening he doesn't want to say anything or here, the, B, uh, the the speaker B says, mm, oh no, see the pitch is really low. But the speaker A says, well, I didn't have it. So speaker A is at a high pitch, speaker B is at a low pitch. Because speaker B wants to show that he's just listening. Oh no, hmm, uh-huh. You see a speaker B is just using things like that. Uh-huh. Do you want to listen to that part again? So you twenty legal got arrested, you know, the other day. You what? Arrested? What do you mean? Well, I'm doing this project on graffiti, you know, at college. And um, so I have to take lots of photos of graffiti. And uh -huh. mm -hmm. so anyway, I saw this train with some amazing graffiti. So you see? Uh, the man says, uh -huh. the man is at a low pitch because he's listening. But the man, the woman is speaking at a high pitch because she wants to continue the story. So anyway, this pitch is higher than the one that says, uh -huh. mm -hmm. oh no, that pitch is really low compared to this. So it says, pay attention to this. So be careful, the next time you are uh, telling a story, you should pause and you should use sometimes anyway you should use well if you need time to think don't just say the sentences one after another hi Laylee welcome don't just say the sentences one after another pause and use these words so now let's uh, do uh, final listening here and then we go to the exercise parts C22 I nearly got arrested you know the other day you what? Arrested? What do you mean? Well, I'm doing this project on graffiti, you know, at college. And um, so I have to take lots of photos of graffiti. And uh -huh. so anyway, I saw this train with some amazing graffiti on the side. So I went there to uh, take a photo of it. The thing is, it was a bit far from the platform. So what happened? Well, I walked along next to the lines and then these two uh, station police came along and said I shouldn't be there so um, they
they took me to the office and then they asked for my ID card, you know, and my identity card. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't have it. Left it at home that day. Oh, no. Yeah. So anyway, then they didn't know what, I, what to do with me. So um, I said, look, I leave my camera here and I go home to get my ID card. Now, in the end, they agreed. So I did that and they, they wrote my ID number and then just let me go. Take lots of... Hi, teacher Habib. Welcome. So, yes, you see this part? Uh, we are using well in any way at a high pitch. It was a, oh, no. Mm, uh -huh. At a low pitch to show that we want the other speaker to continue. The next part, it says you should do this part. You are going to listen to this listening. In the listening, there is one question for you. The question says, for example, what did the speaker see? on the way home from work the answer is he saw an accident okay now what is the technique for this listening the technique is you have to listen you have to listen for the word anyway because after anyway all the important information is coming after anyway all the important information is coming okay yeah yeah at first I, I i didn't understand it was english but then i got used to it yeah for accents you should listen more so you get used to them sometimes maybe you go to spain you want to speak english so you want to understand them the next part let me first play it for you you see where the we are looking for the word anyway because after anyway, all the important information is coming. Let's listen to the example. C24. C23. Example. I was coming home from work yesterday. I, um, I left work a bit earlier than usual, and I decided to walk up Mayfield Road. And so, anyway, I... Anyway, now he's going to give the answer. I was coming home from work yesterday. I, um, I left work a bit earlier than usual, and I decided to walk up Mayfield Road. And so, anyway, I was coming home from work and I saw an accident. One. So you see, he says, anyway, I was coming home from work and I saw an accident. So that's the, the answer to number one. Just here on WhatsApp, I don't have good access for pausing the video and stuff. So let me send it to... Uh, let me see if I can save it maybe. No, I can't. Okay, so we listen to all of it, and then I ask you for your an answers. Home from work yesterday. Example. I was coming home from... I was coming home from work yesterday. I, um... I left work a bit earlier than usual. We go to I number one. To up Mayfield Road. I can't and pause so the audio. That's a problem anyway. now. I was coming home from work and I <laughs> saw an accident. Anyway. One. Oh, number one, what happened to Katie? Guess what happened Katie. to Katie the other day? You know Katie. We work in the same office together. Um, she's the one who has little accidents. You know, things always go wrong for her. Um, so anyway, Katie's computer fell on the floor and she lost all her data. Two. <laughs> Okay. This old man walks into a bar and um, he's an old man and he has like a long white, um, you know, beard, sort of like Father Christmas. And anyway, he goes to the bar and asks for a glass of water with lemon and ice. Three. Have you heard the good news about Clara? You know, Mrs. Preston's daughter. Um, Oh, this is a lovely cup of coffee. You always have nice coffee at your house. Anyway, as I was saying, Clara, she's got a place at university. I 
I left work a bit earlier than usual. I was I was coming home from work yesterday. Yesterday, I um, I left work a bit earlier than usual. Okay, so what did you understand? Yes, lost data. He actually lost the data or data because her computer fell over or her computer fell on the floor. Yes. Wow, that must be terrible. Computer falling on the floor. What happened to Katie the other day? Yes, she lost the data because her computer fell on the floor. We go to number two. What did the old man do in the bar? Do you remember? I think he asked for... He asked for a glass of water, I guess. Do you want to listen again? The problem is I can't because now I am playing it on the speaker. I can't. I don't know why I can't. WhatsApp is crazy. Yesterday, I um, I left work a bit earlier than usual. Yeah, he goes to the to bar. Up Mayfield Road. But and what so, does he do in the bar? Anyway, I was coming home from work and I saw an accident. One. Guess what happened to Katie the other day? You know Katie. We work in the same office together. Um, she's the one... She always has little accidents. You know, things always go wrong for her. Um, so anyway, Katie's computer fell on the floor and she lost all her data. Two. Yeah, she lost the data. This old man walks into a bar and um, he's an old man and he has like a long white... Um, you know, beard, sort of like Father Christmas. And anyway, he goes to the bar and asks for a glass of water with lemon and ice. Asks for a glass of water. Yes. Good or someone. Asks for a glass of water with, I don't know, lemonade, ice, something like that. Asks for a glass of water she asks for he asks for a glass of water so we are listening for anyway because after anyway the important information come however the, informa the information doesn't seem that important here as a glass of water with the ice yes so anyway I oh was coming God. home from work and I saw an accident it went to the beginning again let it go. So uh, now we are on number three. Very good. Number one, her computer fell on the floor. Number two, uh, the old man asks for or asked for a glass of water. Yeah, we lemonade, ice, something like that. Lemon and ice. Yeah, I think this one also. Said is laughing. Uh, good, sweet. Now let's go to the number has like a long white um you know beard sort of like father christmas and anyway he goes to the bar and asks for a glass of water with lemon and ice lemon and ice number three what is the good three. news about clara have you heard the good news about clara you know mrs preston's daughter um oh this is a lovely cup of coffee you always have nice coffee at your house anyway as I was saying, Clara, she's got a place at university. So what's the good news about Clara? She's got a... She's got a... Did you hear anything? It says, what is the good news about Clara? What is the good news about Clara? Yes, she's got, Clara has got, or she's got a new place. It means like a new place at the university. It kind of means that she's accepted, yes? She's accepted for university. She got a place at a university. She, she's got a place at a university. Yes, good. She's, <clears throat> she's got a place. She, she's, she's been accepted. She got 
admission. We also say admission. She got admission to university. Okay, next part. It says listen. Uh -huh. First it says uh, don't listen. Just look. Fill in the blanks with well and anyway. Because these two words are very important when you are in a conversation with someone or when you're telling a story. This word becomes important. First, look at the conversation and tell me number one is well or anyway. Number two is well or anyway. Three and four. <coughs> Hi, Brian. Welcome. Let me read it. A. I wonder what happens if you lose your passport. I lost mine once. It means I lost my passport one time. I lost mine once. So what happened? So here what should I use? I was abroad just traveling around, you know, and blank. Somebody stole my bag on the last day. So how do you fill in the blanks using well and anyway? Remember I told you when we use anyway and when we use well. Hi Ali, welcome. Yes, good sweet. Number one is well. Number one is well. When you want to start your conversation and you need some time to think, you use well. So what happened? Well, I was abroad, just traveling around, you know, and Dr. Said is here. Alice says, hi, Dr. Said. Good, Akram. Asaman, good. Ibrahim, good. Parisa, good. No, Parisa, number one is well. You want to start it. Number two is anyway. Sweet, Said. Asaman, good. Akram, good. You know, and here we have a blank. So it says, so what happened? Well, I was abroad just traveling around, you know, and anyway, somebody stole my bag. Somebody stole my bag on the last day. So what did you do? Again, you want to start and you need some time to think about this story maybe. So what do you say? So what did you do? <laughs> Alice says, hello, Professor Fahiri. Well, good sweet. So, so what did you do? Well, I reported it to the police, which took absolutely ages. Here, ages, that's a good, that's a good phrase. I mean, that's a good word. You can use it when you want to say a long time. For example, you say, I have been studying English for ages. It means I have been studying English for a long, long time. Or sometimes you see your friend and a friend that you hadn't seen for a long time. Last time you saw your friend 10 years ago, you say, or for example, two years ago, you say, Oh, nice to meet you. I'm happy to see you. I haven't seen you in ages. Ages means a long time. So, well, I reported to the police, which took absolutely ages, so many forms to fill in, and, yes, anyway, out of a good, no, f yes, four is anyway, Abraham, out of a good. So, I take ages, so many forms to write, to fill in, and anyway, now you want to get to the next part of this story, so you say anyway. Anyway. They gave me a special travel document, and then when I arrived home, you continue the story. Yes, good Akram, good sight. So now we go back and listen again. We haven't listened. Now we want to listen and check our answers. Maybe we made a mistake. We don't really know. So let's go back and check our answer. C24. I wonder what happens if you lose your passport. I lost mine once. So what happened? Well, I was abroad just traveling around, you know, and... Anyway, 
Somebody stole my bag on the last day. So what did you do? Well, I reported it to the police, which took absolutely ages, so many forms to fill in. And anyway, they gave me a special travel document, and then when I arrived home, I... Um... So here, it's different, because the, the woman is asking. The woman is speaking at a low pitch. The man is speaking as a, in, a, in a high pitch. The woman says, so what do you do? Low pitch. But the man says, well, I reported it to the police, which took absolutely ages, so many forms to fill. Here, intonation is going down. So many forms to fill in. I did this, I did that. Anyway, and then the intonation goes up. Then it's on a high pitch. Anyway, they give, gave me a special travel document. And then when I arrived home, then you continue the story. So remember, here, the role of the man and woman has changed from the first story. The woman is speaking at a lower pitch. The man is speaking at a higher pitch. So what happened? Well, for? I wonder what happens if you lose your passport. I lost mine once. So what happened? Well, I was abroad just traveling around, you know, and... Anyway, somebody stole my bag on the last day. So what did you do? So what did you do? So you see the woman is speaking at a low pitch. So what did you do? Plus it's a WH question so it goes down. But the man is using well anyway. So the man is speaking at a higher pitch. Exactly the opposite of the beginning. So you got all the four numbers correct. Let's see if there is anything else. Yeah, so we're done with unit uh, 45. Next session, oh no, what did I do? Okay, next session we will take a look at unit 6 as it says here. This lesson I will, I have recorded it, I'll pause it, I'll stop it and I'll put it on my telegram. If you're watching this from telegram, our lives are on Mondays and Thursdays. Uh, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. So if you want to talk or if you got questions, you want you can send me a DM or you can come live and ask me your question if you think it's hard to text about it. So thank you everyone for listening and I'll say goodbye till next session.